Okay, let's start the story. Our school, uh, Chungnam Science High School, has a science fair each year. And this year at the gym 6, a visitor came to me and asked a question. My son really likes robots and wants to come to the school, but he's not good at studying math and science. What do you think about this? At this moment, I remember the question that I got from my friend in middle school. What will you do in the future? The thing you're good at, or the thing you like? Well, I was confused. I was confused and thought for a while and asked some people for advice. Their answer was the thing you're good at. Even a very talented teacher also told me told this to me. The reason was today we have to survive in the middle of such a highly competitive world. And also, these days, money is the face of the many things. Unfortunately, I don't think so. I think it's too early to set this, and I'm only a 16-year-old in my international age, but I think my opinion is different with this. So, uh, how can I set this? Although I'm not that old too much. Uh, I saw a few people, and they gave me uh, some and they gave me some ideas about it. The first person is the man in the circle, red circle. Let me ask you, have you ever seen this person before? No. no. Do you know him? No. Yes. <laughs> well, this man has a talk in the TEDx Youth at Conejo. It's a little village in the California states. And, but, none of you know him, but I can convince, I am convinced that he is a very successful man. Well, actually, he is my cousin brother. <laughs> he's my cousin, and his name is Brian Chan. He enjoys talking with other people a lot since he was very young. And he especially liked to tackle on someone's opinion and having a debate with him. Uh, he moved to America when he was an elementary school student. And at the first time, he was not good at English, and he was had uh, difficulties. But you know, I, I told you that he likes to talk with anyone. So he prepared the topic for each day, and, and bring it to his friends, and began to talk with him. And his debating skills rose very highly and quickly by the, by, by the method. And his ability was recognized by the United States of America. Then he participated in the Imitation UN Conference as a delegate of the USA, and he won the first prize. Therefore, he was invited to the TEDx a few months later, and he had, he had a speech in there. And now he goes into the Harvard, and he dreams to becoming an international lawyer. Well, a, mischief, a mischievous boy who liked to argue with people about their opinions Find, his dream, find what, he, what his dream was very early thanks to those experiences. And now he's trying to go towards his dream of becoming an international lawyer. And the other places, other places and people that give, that give me the idea is here. And everyone in the here, my friend and the school. As you can see from the name of our school, Everyone in the school are very interested in math and science, and they are all extremely gifted. And, and besides, they also have, each of them have know what they like, and they enjoy their life. Well, in my case, well, some of my friends call me, call me foreigner, you know, and <laughs> so uh, just like my nickname, I study English a lot, although I'm in the science school. And that was because I was motivated by the memory of visiting America and visiting my cousin, Brian, you see him. Uh, the brand new culture, brand new circumstances, brand new language, they all motivated me and, get, and give me a little goal to go, to go back to the USA someday and study a lot and share my ideas with diverse people. So just like me, many people would have their own special experiences and admirations, and they would become their own goal, and they would have their own dreams. Also, well, of course, we have our 
we have troubles with each other, or sometimes we have we got stress. But we can solve this by our own way because they have their own dreams and they have all their own admirations. So by this way, they they lay out their dreams at the door to their schools. So so like this, they when when they get stressed, I saw some people like playing a guitar and singing a song, or somebody writing a lyrics and doing a rap, or even having a date for couples, etc. Like this, uh, they are enjoying their life, and they are one of the happiest people I've ever seen. But some people also uh, don't think like my, don't think like me. They also sound like, what if somebody do what he likes, he or she likes, and fails and breaks and receives no benefits? Well, that is also right. I've also thought about it, but. Uh, of course, everyone would know that doing what they are good at is much beneficial and worth much advantage in the place of benefits. But I think doing what they are, doing what they like, is uh, to have no problems in the case of profits because I believe that they can get concentrated much easier and study well and they get stressed much and and get more benefits later. And also, like I said right before. They will get less stressed. Well, maybe it's because of my tendency to avoid hard work and don't want to get any stress. But I think it's much better to is to enjoy your life and being more comfortable is much better. So I want every person is much better to say enjoy your life and and in the time when they pass away. I want everyone. It's much better to say, "I've enjoyed my life. The world was beautiful." It's much better than saying, uh, "Spending a hard time and stressful life," and saying, "My life was too hard, too stressful, and time was too short." I hope everyone is in this place would say that word, "I've enjoyed my life before they pass away." Let's go to the front. The visitor gave me a question like this. And my answer was, welcome. If your son really likes making a robot and he is very interested in it, I, I am convinced that he would get no stress and he would have no problems in the school and he will enjoy his life and he would go forward to his dream of making robots very easily. So, uh, well, okay. And, so, <laughs> and the last, I want, well. I want to say all of you to say this.、Mm. Remind your memories. Go back to the time when you were very interested in one thing, and I want you to find out what you really like. And well, although I'm also a teenager and a high school student, but I'm convinced that if you do that way, I,、uh, you will enjoy your life. And I want you to go say that one. I've enjoyed my life, and the world was very beautiful, and have. A wonderful rest of their life. Thanks. Thank you.